Hello, Ethan and Hilo. My name is Isaac Pinedale. I am a longtime follower of H3H3 Productions because I really appreciate your commentary on a lot of the issues that you cover. However, I do have a little bit of contention with the issue of pizza delivery. You posted a video not too long ago about how pizza delivery drivers become frustrated when not presented with a tip. Now, the issue with a lot of fast food delivery pizzas is that the drivers, in the interest of the company, are paid a minimum wage for their time in store and at the same time are paid a sub minimum wage pay for their time while they're on delivery and that the customer is going to make up for the sub minimum wage pay that you receive as a driver. I won't necessarily tell you the rate, but it's about half of what the minimum wage is. Now, you assume that everybody is going to pay you at a rate that would compensate for that minimum wage that you expect when you work at any job. And it's unfortunate that a lot of people do not tip, especially college people. And you make that note very clear. It's college kids that otherwise wouldn't really have the money to buy any sort of pizza. Um, and a lot of questions that I hear other drivers ask themselves, and what I ask myself when I am not given a tip for a very large delivery to an apartment complex or to a private home, that uh, is that if you don't, if you, if you haven't the ability to afford a fast food pizza, you probably have no reason to even buy the pizza to begin with. And it doesn't mean that you're wrong for not tipping, it just means that it's irresponsible to do such a thing. And so the irresponsibility is met with a little bit of outrage. So the video illustrates maybe some of the last days of a delivery driver when enough is enough. I'm tired of being paid minimum wage or less for all of the duties I have to perform as a pizza delivery driver, which goes beyond just driving. And it also includes the expenses of driving, which is your gas, the wear and tear in your car, and the, uh, of course, danger of being out on the road at any time. And I can't help but agree with a lot of other delivery drivers when they become so irritated or butthurt about not receiving tips. I sometimes am stuck in the unfortunate case of having to deliver pizzas that, because of understaffing of a pizza delivery joint, uh, are delivered way later than they're expected, which causes a bit of customer contention as well. So not only am I saddled with the anger of the staff, on duty, which is swamped with work. I'm also saddled with the anger of the customer who couldn't afford the pizza and is looking for an excuse and is glad to not pay a tip for my sub-minimum wage payment at that hour. Uh, and so we really don't rack up anything, something like $200 an item tips. I don't know where you live. I don't know what the rates are, what the standard uh, delivery amount would be if you just bought one pizza. But it truly is something that is impacting a lot of people and causing workplace, workplace conflicts. And I simply wanted to respond just on that issue, because otherwise, you guys are doing a great job. Keep it up.